up for the holidays, always. How about making some no-bake peanut butter balls? Chef David Vonderchuk from Scratch Catering Services here to show us how to make this daybreak delight. Good morning. So good, right? This is Grandma's mm. recipe. Nothing screams awesome. the holidays like family recipes, right? Totally. So these come together really simply, and so everything except for one ingredient is one cup. Okay. So it's very easy to All remember. Right. So right here in your electric mixer, you're going to go ahead and add one cup of sweetened shredded coconut. Okay. One cup of finely chopped or diced uh, pecans. Uh -huh. And we say pecans, not pecans. Pecans. One cup of powdered sugar. All Boom, right. there it goes. Uh -huh. Alrighty. And then the one ingredient that was not the one cup is three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Okay. And go ahead and just turn this on low. Get it going. And then we have one cup of, it wouldn't be peanut butter balls without the peanut, peanut butter. butter. So we go ahead and drop that on in there. Are you picky about what kind you use there? Like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on air, but I use Jif. Oh, you can say it. It's okay. I love You just Jif. like the way it tastes. Creamy, huh? creamy mm. peanut butter. So, and Wonderful. there you go. And really, the butter is just more for flavor, because okay. I always say it, mo butter, mo, mo better. better. So you just let that mix up, and then when you're done, you just pinch it off okay. into little balls like this. And uh, how Grandma always did it was she just rolled this like, I, I don't really think this is like a dough, but she just rolled this mixture. Not too sticky? No, okay. right in her hands, just mm -hmm. like so. Okay. And then right here, we've got some melted chocolate, but this is kind of uh, important. This is an old-fashioned ingredient. This is called golf wax. And I've never so, seen this. Where do you get this? You just get it right on the baking aisle. It's kind of near the preserves. What? Back in the day, they used to melt this down and put this on the top of it? preserves and jellies. It's wax. And so just using a serrated knife, I just kind of shred it off to get it really thin, and you melt it in one cup of chocolate. I only do like about a tablespoon or so of this and it just helps keep the chocolate really glossy. Oh, this is like candy wow. making secrets. Russell Stover's secret. better look out, look, right? Yeah, I mean, look how beautiful <laughs> it is. Right, so just using a fork, again, these are no bake, you just toss this in that chocolate just like so. Mm -hmm. And then for this, you would use wax paper, not like a parchment, and you go ahead and you just put that right onto the wax paper. And do you need to refrigerate these? Nope, just let them set up, and this That's is how they it? are. Please try one, they're so oh, good. I'm going to continue dipping because I know everybody's ready oh, to have some of these. Oh, my goodness. And this is grandma's recipe. Mm. Now, if you don't like pecans, you can always oh. do additional peanuts. You could chop up additional walnuts. Mm. You really can kind of change this recipe to whatever you, you can put like. You like pretzels in here. Absolutely. Mm. Some people don't even add the coconut. That's like oh, a but the coconut grandma so thing. Good in there. I love it. Mm. My partner, not so much. He doesn't like the coconut in the balls. But really? These are for me. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, so, so good. good, right? Mm. So you gift these, you get, bring them to someone's home for a Christmas party, mm -hmm. or you can just do what I do, stand in the kitchen I'm still and eating. Them. you got to do the rest. <laughs> See what that says So there? you can find this mm. recipe on the food and drink section of our website, kwgn.com, and mm. at scratchcateringservices.com. Thank you. Back to you, Ernie. All right. <laughs> well, Ernie can't stop commenting on your new hairdo. I love your